Please welcome Gawad Kalingas, Mr. Tony Meloto. Thank you, John, for the opportunity to keep on telling our story. And to all of you uh, who are present today, kindred and uh, spirits, like-hearted uh, friends, I see a number of our own uh, uh, friends uh, in the crowd. Uh, this just gives me an opportunity to keep on uh, speaking about a shared vision and, uh, and how we can achieve this dream through our shared values. And uh, while the topics assigned to us today are big topics, nutrition, water, rural development, I'll be a bit personal. Uh, personal in the sense that uh, uh, these topics to me are just uh, ways of uh, achieving our uh, a very basic fundamental dream for me as an ordinary citizen and that is uh, to uh, for Filipinos to end poverty in the Philippines and uh, it is coming from precisely uh, a person who is like many others just ordinary with no political power, with no big business capital, uh, but uh, uh, has uh, been able to just uh, bring out the best in everyone uh, for us to, uh, to uh, achieve uh, something that will be of common value for us to uh, build a better legacy for the next generation. And so this is, uh, while we talk about global citizenship and addressing this on a macro level, I'm simply speaking of something that is very local, something very personal, because the work is personal. It is started out as a journey uh, for, uh, for an ordinary citizen who was at one point frustrated and also disappointed and, uh, and realizing that uh, without effective uh, uh, governance and uh, strong political will that and with people always depending on government and uh, blaming everything on government we will never be able to really uh, uh, achieve our dream of, uh, of a prosperous nation with a first-class people and uh, and so uh, we just simply started the journey and uh, walk the, the talk and try to uh, build friendship with uh, with the people on the ground and to see the world through their eyes because the problem of poverty in this country has been a problem of, uh, uh, of uh, disconnection. Uh, that the small minority who control wealth and power in this country and make all the big decisions are disconnected from majority of our people who suffer from their decisions. And, and so uh, uh, we, and uh, basically it's because uh, we have failed to go for the shared value and we always uh, pursue self-interest and uh, oftentimes uh, sacrifice the common good. And also because the lack of that very something very important in sustainable partnership, uh, and that is trust. And uh, I'm here also, John, because of, uh, we cannot uh, undertake sustainable development if there is no sustainable partnership. And the partnership we have with Nestle has been uh, for the last five years. And it is also rooted in uh, sustainable friendship and uh, it started with Mr. PJM and to Mr. Nando and uh, now with, you, with, uh, with John and it began uh, five years ago in, uh, in Baseco, an urban uh, slum and uh, in, uh, since that time we have been able to, to transform uh, one of the most dangerous and one of the most uh, uh, neglected and abandoned community and uh, we have transformed the lives of 5,000 people uh, simply because uh, Nestle came in with their credibility, with their own uh, uh, vision for a better world, which is, uh, which is important. And uh, uh, it's important for them also investing in building a better business climate and also uh, building a peaceful environment and, 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 bring, and investing in bringing people out of poverty so that, uh, because this is good for business, it will uh, trigger economic development, it will trigger economic activities, it will enhance buying power, uh, it will uh, expand the market base, 
And uh, so from the very start, uh, we realized that uh, we can only achieve a big dream if we also work with big people. And, uh, and you cannot, unless you have a big dream and a big vision, no one will pay attention to you because uh, uh, the development is a numbers game. And for, 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 for corporations to, to really also take notice of your, of, uh, of your dream, uh, of your ideas, you, it has, we have to show them also the number of consumers that we can reach. And for the big politicians to listen to you, you have also to influence the most number of voters. No. So that in this particular election, I told all the presidential candidates we're not endorsing any one of them, but we hope that they will all endorse us. Now the same thing here. Uh, uh, Jollibee is here, and uh, it has been also, it's, uh, we have been pursued our partnership on shared value from the because their, their CEO uh, believes in us, Tony Tan Kak Chong. So we, every year we build a village with them. Uh, Meralco is here, simply because also they believe in, in, in us. And uh, for the last uh, 34 months, they have uh, donated 34 schools, one school every month. And so again, uh, we, we, we don't have the resources, but, uh, but if we are able also to co-brand with the most credible uh, organizations, the most credible corporations, uh, the, 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 the most influential leaders of the country for the common good, you know, then uh, we will be able to achieve the, the best interest of the most number of people. So we have partnered. Uh, there is shared value with, uh, between government and its citizens, shared value between corporations and their consumers, shared value between the land landowners and the landless. That's interesting because before Gawad Kalinga, we didn't see much of the big landowners donating or, or sharing a portion of the land to the poor. But uh, now we talk about land banking by the local government because they've seen that this is good politics. And simply by showing them that it will work. And we have focus on countryside development simply because most of the problems even in the, the, in the urban areas have their roots in the rural areas. You know, uh, poverty in our own setting um, uh, emanates uh, from five fundamental issues as far as we're concerned. Landlessness, homelessness, hunger, uh, uh, thirst, and, uh, and lack of uh, power and energy. And so our mantra is very simple in development, land for the landless, home for the homeless, food for the hungry, water for the thirsty, and light for those in darkness. And uh, it's amazing. Uh, what we started out with, with Nestle, keeps on growing because from, from Baseco, we moved to, to Lipa, where we're put, uh, putting up uh, a Nestle uh, Eco Village with its own uh, baffled reactor for, for the waste management, with the water catchment, and so on. And so from simply getting land, uh, we have moved on to building uh, homes with major corporations. We, our initial trust was uh, the most credible uh, organizations. Number one would be corporations because they have the resources, they have the credibility, and they protect their corporate name. And since I believe that for, for me, uh, social development and nation building is essentially marketing. It's about branding. And so uh, we co-branded with Nestle and called the first village the Nestle the Good Life Village. But because Nestle came in, uh, Procter & Gamble and Unilever also came in in Baseco. So that uh, in just, a couple, in, in just uh, two or three years, we were able to transform the lives of 5,000 people. Then uh, others came in with schools, others came in also with their health program. And it's interesting because uh, what we started out with Nestle uh, five years ago was studied by MIT in 2006. They came here to study social impact uh, the, uh, on, uh, of NGOs on uh, urban transformation. They, they studied the lives of our people, and I guess they were, they, they were really impressed with the uh, with uh, how we have been able to do three things. First, in development, we realized we cannot do it alone. And we, so we had to first bridge. Bridge need with resource. 